and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to check your kitchen thermometer is working correctly. For this you'll need to make an ice slurry. To make an ice slurry you will need chilled water, distilled is ideal, tap is acceptable, a utensil to stir the slurry, ice cubes, a large glass or container and your thermometer. Fill the container with ice until it is half full. Add the chilled water until it is almost level with the ice. Leave the mixture for two minutes. Stir the mixture for 10 seconds. Then place the probe of your thermometer into the ice slurry and leave it for five to 10 minutes so that the reading can stabilize. After five to 10 minutes has elapsed, check your probe thermometer. The readings should be zero degrees Celsius or within the specifications outlined by your thermometer. For this example, our thermometer is reading 0.2 degrees, which is well within the device specifications of plus or minus one degree Celsius. If your thermometer is zero or within its specifications, it's ready for use. If you have performed this ice slurry test and you think your thermometer is not accurate, there are three possible remedies. The first is calibrate. Some probe thermometers can be calibrated. Follow the individual product user guide to perform calibration to help your thermometer read true. The second is record. If your thermometer does not have a calibration feature and the reading is not zero, but it's within a reasonable range, the difference should be recorded. The recorded temperature deviation can then be used as a correction factor for future readings. Our scientists recommend writing down the known difference on a sticker and sticking it to the back of your thermometer. Or you can contact us. If you're unsure of the accuracy of your digital thermometer, contact us. Our scientists are always ready to help troubleshoot any issues and ensure your thermometer is working as it should be. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. That's a quick and easy way to check that your thermometer is working correctly. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.